welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. We will be making a 6 to 12 month diaper cover in today's tutorial. If you are needing a smaller size, I have videos for preemie through 3 to 6 months as well. You can find those links down in the description below. So to get started, you will need an eye hook, and that's a 5.5 millimeter hook. You're going to want uh, worsted yarn. I used the I Love This Yarn brand from Hobby Lobby. And you're also going to need some scissors and a yarn needle. So let's gather all of our supplies and we will get started. Okay, so our first step is we're going to go ahead and grab our yarn. I'm going to use red today since it's almost Valentine's Day and I might make a little Valentine's Day diaper cover out of this one. We're going to start out by making a chain and you're going to chain 58. Okay, so now that we have our chain of 58, we are going to slip stitch to the very first chain that we made. So you wanna make sure that you don't twist your chain at all when you're doing this. So you have to just carefully work your way around to that very first chain. And then we're gonna grab our yarn and we're gonna pull it through both loops. So it's slip stitched together and it makes a ring. Okay, after you get it slip stitched, you're gonna go ahead and chain one and then the next step for round uh, one is going to be to half double crochet all around the chain. So you'll have a total of 58 half double crochets around. So if you're unfamiliar with the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert into the same stitch as your chain. You're going to grab your yarn and pull it through. You will have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three. And that's your first half double crochet. So again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, you'll have your three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. So you're just going to repeat that stitch all the way around for round one, where you will have a total of 58 half double crochets made. I will meet you at the end of round one, and then we will start on round two. Okay, so now that we've made our 58 half double crochets, we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch to that first half double crochet we made to finish off round one. And then you're going to chain one. And you'll do that at the end of every round that we do for this top part of our diaper cover. Okay, so moving on to round two, we are going to be using half double crochets again, but this time we're going to be working in the front post and the back post. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. So we're gonna start with the first um, post here that we made. So instead of going in the stitch, under the stitch like normal, what we're gonna do is yarn over, you're gonna go behind the post of the stitch. So the full stitch here, you're just gonna go behind that stitch and you're gonna make your half double crochet. So pull your yarn behind it and then make your half double crochet. Okay, so that's our first stitch and we're just gonna alternate. So the next one, we're gonna work in front of the stitch. So we're gonna go, so you're gonna yarn over and go up beneath your piece here to where your needle or your hook comes up in between this last stitch we just made and the next one. And then you're gonna go in front of it and stick your hook between the next two stitches so that it comes out like this. This is the back of our piece here, and this is the front. You're gonna grab your yarn, pull it through the back there, and make your half double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna show you those a couple more times, and like I said, you're gonna alternate how you do that, each stitch all the way around. So that's gonna make this uh, top band here on our diaper cover. So just watch as I do it real slowly and then you can finish this all the way around.
Okay, and that is our front post and back post half double crochets. So you'll just repeat that all the way around until the end of round two. All right, so this is what your band should look like so far. So go ahead and make that um, slip stitch to the first half double crochet that you made and chain one. So rounds three through nine will all be the same and you're just gonna be putting one half double crochet in each stitch around. So each of those rounds will be a total of 58 half double crochets. So again, that's rounds three through nine. So go ahead and make those rounds and this is what this top part will look like. So again, rounds three through nine and I will meet you back after we get those rounds complete. All right, we have now finished our um, nine rounds of the top part of our diaper cover, and this is what that should look like at this point. So our next steps, we're gonna be working in rows. So at the end of each row, we will chain one and turn our piece over to work across the other side of the next row. So for row number one, we are just gonna half double crochet 20 stitches across the front of the diaper cover. So you're just going to work the same way that you did um, in the last rounds, but you're going to stop once you have made your 20 half double crochets. Okay, so we have made 20 half double crochets. At the end of this row, we'll chain one, and then we'll turn and work back across that um, for that next row. And this will be the, for the front panel of our diaper cover that will look like this. So to make that tapered front panel, we're gonna start the next uh, row, and this will be row 11. We're gonna start with a half double crochet decrease. So to do this, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch there, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull your yarn through. You're gonna have five loops on your hook and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all five. So we just turn two stitches into one and that's gonna make that tapered edge for our front panel. So we start with a decrease over the first two stitches. So one decrease. Then we're just going to half double crochet across and we're gonna stop before we get to the last two stitches of this row. So go ahead and half double crochet across, leaving those last two half double crochets unworked. Okay, once you get to those last two stitches, we're gonna decrease again, and I'll show you that real quick one more time. So yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert into that last stitch, Yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so now we have a decrease. We have double crocheted across and a decrease. We're gonna chain one and turn our piece over. So we're gonna repeat that process for the next four rows. So we're gonna decrease over the first two. Half double crochet across and then you'll decrease over the last two. So I'm gonna write the pattern for these next four rows up on the screen. So follow those until you get those complete and then we will finish off the last part of the front panel together. All right, so we have finished our decrease rows for the front panel. So the last two rows, we're just gonna put one half double crochet in each stitch across. So again, you'll do that for two rows. Each row will be a total of 10 half double crochets. And then I will show you how to finish off the front panel. Okay, so we are finished with our front panel. So go ahead and just cut your tail for that. And you don't need a long one for this. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and just weave in the ends that we have at this point because we're not going to need any of those for sewing. So go ahead and weave in those ends and then we will come back and we will start on the back panel. Okay, so to start the back panel, you're going to turn your piece so that you're working on the left side of with the front panel facing you. 
to the left of that um, piece. We're going to skip the first eight stitches here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into that ninth stitch, we're going to go ahead and attach our yarn. So go ahead and grab it and pull it through that stitch and chain one. Okay, so your next step for the back panel is you're going to half double crochet a total of 22 stitches. So go ahead and make your 22 half double crochets and we will meet back for the next row. Okay, you should have your 22 half double crochets made and there should be eight stitches left over on this side. So we have eight on each side and that will make our leg holes when we get this back panel sewn together. So go ahead and chain one and then turn your piece over. Okay, and we're gonna do for our next row, we're just gonna put one half double crochet in each stitch across. So again, for this row, you will have a total of 22 half double crochets made. Okay, so after our first two rows here, go ahead and do your chain one and turn. We're gonna start our decrease uh, rows and those will be exactly the same as the front panel. So you're gonna start with your half double crochet decrease over the first two. Then you're gonna half double crochet across the piece and then you will half double crochet decrease over the last two. And you're gonna do this pattern for the next six rows. So decrease, half double crochet across, and decrease. I will write this, these um, rows patterns up on the screen for you to follow along with. And I will meet you back at the end of the last decrease row and we will finish off the back panel and then sew the two panels together. Okay, so we have just finished off our last round here, or row here, for the back panel. So let's go ahead and cut a little bit longer of a tail, because we're going to use this to sew the back panel and the front panel together. So finish that off and grab your yarn needle. Okay, and so you're just going to match up the stitches from the back panel to the front panel and you're just going to go back and forth between the two until you get the edge completely sewn together and then once you're done with that you'll just go ahead and weave in the ends from that and then we'll move on to finishing off the leg holes here we're going to line those again with our front post and back post half double crochets all right, so the main part of our diaper cover is finished, and now we're just going to do the um, leg openings here. So grab your hook, and it does not matter where you start your first stitch at. So I may start in the middle here, and you're gonna grab your yarn and pull it through, and chain one. Okay, so for there, we're gonna do two rounds for the leg openings. So our first round, we're just gonna half double crochet around. So for this size diaper cover, you should have approximately 24 half double crochets when you get back around. Um, it's okay if you have one stitch more or one stitch less. Just make sure you have the same amount of half double crochets for each leg so that one's not smaller or bigger than the other. So go ahead and make your half double crochets around and make sure you count how many stitches that you had and I will meet you back at the end of round one. All right, so once you have made your first round of half double crochets around, let's go ahead and slip stitch to our first half double crochet we made and chain one. And then we're gonna repeat what we did in the band here. We're gonna do our front post and back post half double crochets around. So just make sure you alternate those exactly like you did in the band and you'll have the same amount of stitches that you made from the first round of the leg opening. So go ahead and finish off this round and then we will finish off the first leg and then you can go ahead and do the same exact process with the second leg. All right guys, we have finished our six to 12 month diaper cover. I wanted to say thank you for joining me in today's tutorial and I hope to see you in the next video.